Good evening. One will see you. Welcome to worship tonight. Special welcome to those who are joining us online. Glad you could join us tonight. Just a couple of quick announcements uh, for you. Reminder that we have crew next Wednesday on the 24th. We are still looking for communion bread, um, uh, baker, especially for the latter part of the year. So check the table out in the narthex. And the annual ports uh, will be out uh, for your perusal if you so choose on Sunday with the annual meeting on the first Sunday in February. Um, I'm going to leave the rest of the announcements to you. We start with hymn number 302, As With Gladness, Men of Old, number 302. I invite you to turn in your bulletin for our prayer of the day. Let us pray together. Thanks be to you, Lord Jesus Christ, most merciful Redeemer, for the countless blessings and benefits you give. May we know you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly, day by day praising you with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. You may remain standing for the reading of the gospel, which comes from the first chapter of the gospel of John, beginning with the 43rd verse. The next day, Jesus decided to go to Galilee. He found Philip and said to him, follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found him about whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. When Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him, he asked of him, Here is truly an Israelite in whom there is no deceit. Nathanael asked him, Where did you get to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Nathanael replied, Rabbi, you are the son of God. You are the king of Israel. Jesus answered, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than these. 
And he said to him, Very truly I tell you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. This is the gospel of our Lord. You may be seated. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and Savior Jesus the Christ. Amen. Today I was texting with some friends. I know none of the young people in this room ever do that. No, no texting ever. I was texting with some friends and during the text, one of the friends said, Hey, me and this other friend are getting together with our spouses on Friday night. Brad, you and Amy want to come join us. You can tell her that we promise not to talk too much church stuff. Because that's what happens when you get a bunch of pastors together. We just can't help but talk, talking about church stuff. Especially now that we're going to have a bishop's election. So the gossip mill is going big through the pastor circles right now. And I said, oh, I'm sorry, we can't. We have other plans. Because we do actually have other plans. And I felt bad about turning down the invitation. But I also thought, well, that was nice. I got invited to some place. Because I usually assume that most people don't really want to spend time with me on a regular basis. We must remember that my wife's favorite thing is when I work a football game or have a wedding rehearsal and I'm gone on a Friday night. It's her favorite thing. You can ask her. She'll tell you. But, you know, being invited to something is always kind of a cool thing. Whether it's a birthday party or an anniversary, whether it's just going out with friends, being invited means that people value you. And here in our gospel reading, we have an invitation. Jesus is calling the first disciples. And he first calls Philip. And Philip goes to his friend Nathaniel. says, hey, we found this guy. We think is the Messiah. Jesus, son of Nazareth. And then one of the great questions in all the Bible is asked, can anything good come out of Nazareth? You can just feel the distaste, you know, in terms of like Nazareth must be like a dirty word. All right. It's kind of like um, when I first arrived here, people found out I was from Chicago. Chicago? Yeah. Traffic and crime and bear fans. Boo. Can anything good come out of Chicago? It can. It's called deep dish pizza. But here, what is Nathaniel's response to Philip? Sorry, what's Philip's response to Nathaniel? Come and see. Now, something you don't know that we don't have that happens earlier in this chapter is that is the exact words that Jesus uses to Peter and Andrew when he calls them to follow him. He says to them, come and see an invitation. And your Lord and Savior Jesus Christ gives you an invitation every day to come and see. To come and see the things that he will do in your life. To come and see the way he forgives you of your sins and erases those mistakes. Not remembering all the bad things that you've done. He invites you to come and see the strength he'll give you when you're weak, the healing when you're hurting, and the hope in the midst of despair. He invites you to come and see as he gives you purpose, as he shows you that loving your neighbor as yourself and serving those in need is what brings the greatest joy in life, not the accumulation of stuff or things. Jesus invites you to come and see as he cries with you in your hardest moments and rejoices with you in the most wonderful of moments. This Jesus invites you to follow him every day. Invites you to know that death has been defeated, that sin has been defeated, that the devil has been defeated in what Christ has done for us on the cross. And here's the great thing. God keeps inviting. It's kind of like that friend that you might have. I have a couple of these in which you text them. Hey, how's it going? Or how are you doing? Or what's going on? And they don't respond. And then you text them again. 
like the next day and they still don't respond and you text them again, you text them again, you keep texting them. Or in our occasion, sometimes it's like my, my nieces and nephews who live on their phones but yet can't respond in any sort of timely manner. You keep asking them because you care for them. And even when they don't respond for whatever reason, you never give up. And that's how God is with us. God in Jesus Christ never stops inviting us. Never stops inviting us to see his grace and mercy in our lives. To see the love and the hope that we get in him. No matter how many times we ignore him. No matter how many times we might say no to the invitation. Because God never gives up on us. God's going to continue to invite you every single day to come and see. May you say yes to that invitation. May you join God's party. May you remember that no matter what, that in the invitation, God is telling you this important truth, that you're loved, that you matter, and that he'll be with you always. For that we can say thanks be to God. Amen. I invite you to please, now we don't say to him, now we do the Apostles' Creed now. I invite you to please stand and turn your bulletin to the Apostles' Creed. Let us confess together our shared faith. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their need. Good and loving God, let us hear every day the invitation you give us to follow you, to come and see the ways in which you impact our life and change our life. We thank you for your mercy, compassion, love, and salvation. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Loving God, send your healing upon all those who hurt this day in body, mind, and spirit. Be with them in the midst of their difficulty. Remind them that they're not alone and give them hope in the midst of their despair. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we give thanks for the joys of life, for the invitations and the celebrations that we have, even just for good days or a bright sun on a very cold day. Help us to be thankful for all those times we have when we can rejoice. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we ask that you would be with those who grieve the loss of loved ones. Remind them of the promise of, the Holy, the promise of eternal life in Jesus Christ. And send your Holy Spirit that they may be comforted in their grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we give thanks for our partners in ministry. We ask that you would bless the ELCA and the Northwest Synod of Wisconsin, the churches of Boyceville, Luther Park Bible Camp, Lutheran Campus Ministry at Stout, American Lutheran Home, Lutheran Social Services, West Cap and Stepping Stones, and all those organizations that care for those in need and proclaim your name. Remind us that our ministry most happens outside of these walls. And bless us as we go to love our neighbors as ourselves. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusted in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share God's peace with each other, and then we'll have our offering.
That's peace. That's peace. Did you make that circle? Please rise. And now hear the word of the Lord. The night to which you have betrayed our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Then after supper we took the cup, gave thanks, and gave them to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us pray the prayer our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Come now, the table is set, and our Lord Jesus Christ invites you to receive the gifts of God for you, people of God. The body of Christ broken for you, the blood of Christ poured out for you. You all know what you're doing. Come and receive God's gifts for you.
We give you thanks, Almighty God, that you have set before us this feast, providing blood to our Son. By your Spirit, strengthen us to serve all in need and give ourselves away as bread for the hungry. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And now receive God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you in favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. And then you speak to God. We sing hymn number 671, Shine, Jesus, Shine. Thanks.